I noticed that when having a store, people invested more money in the product. The same 100 customers that would come to a truck would spend half of what those same 100 customers would invest in a store. Hey guys, Andrew McFarlane here from StarterJuiceFire.com. Hope you're feeling amazing. And today, I want to talk about some of the benefits of a brick and mortar that you may not have thought of. Now, I know that many of you in the community are in different phases of, of launching your business. And you may be thinking about starting with just online delivery, which is you know fine. It has its pros and cons, which I've made content around already. So if you haven't searched that, find those videos. But right now I want to talk about the benefits of a brick and mortar that most people don't think about and that really long term are going to have a huge impact on your success and your finances. You know, one thing that, that we discovered personally because I've gone through all the, the spectrums of how you can serve juice from selling it at farmers markets, different events, from having a juice truck then ultimately having a store and I noticed some things that were very very distinct in the process of of these different sales channels we'll say and I noticed that when having a store people invested more money in the product the same hundred customers that would come to a truck would spend half of what those same hundred customers would invest in a store and I started to have realizations on why this is and 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 the first reason is that people just trust businesses that have retail locations a bit more. Whether they know it or not, you are going to trust a company a lot more if they have a storefront than if you just met them at a farmer's market. And that's the first thing. And when people trust your business more, they invest more money in your product, right? The other thing is consistency. When you're at a farmer's market you're, or you're running a truck, you don't get to see those customers as often. Farmer's markets are usually once a week, and that's fine, but they can only carry so much stuff. And so you don't become the, 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 very, uh, the same kind of destination point, I should say. Whereas when someone's going to a farm, farmer's market, they're not just coming to you. They've got a bunch of stuff that they need to do. They want to buy fruits and vegetables, and they want to buy you know, olives, and they want to maybe get some juice too. So they, they just, even on a sheer space level, don't have the space to carry everything that they might want to carry. But from a psychological standpoint, they're also not going there just for you most of the time. And so sometimes it does happen, but most of the time it doesn't happen. Whereas when a storefront is there, people are coming to visit just you, your business. They're coming to see you. And so the psychological framework is one where they're planning on investing more energy into your product for that reason. The next thing that I want to say is a major benefit, which, which is really my favorite one, and I'll elaborate on why, but is that when you have a brick and mortar store, unlike, let's say, the contrast of doing online delivery or just a strictly delivery-based business, is people spend more time with you and your business, and therefore that time builds relationships and builds trust, but more importantly, it gives you the opportunity to get real feedback in real time on how you can help develop your business in a way that's going to continue to support that customer even more. And this is huge because if you take anything away from this video, I want you to really remember what I'm going to say now. It is that successful businesses are not the businesses that have the best ideas up front. It's not about being perfect. It's about how do you iterate? How do you learn, grow, and adapt? That's what business is about. Because the landscape and the marketplace is always changing. Running a business is dynamic. So it's not about being perfect up front. It's how do you change? And when you have a brick and mortar store, you have the opportunity to evolve in a way that is really going to support your customers because you're in direct relationship to them. So you're getting the right feedback. If you're just doing online delivery, and let's say you don't see your customer because you left you know, your juices in a box, you know, a, 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 a case that's cold in front of their door, and maybe they didn't love the juice that you left there. Maybe there was something wrong with it. Maybe they just didn't like it for whatever reason. Guess what? Because you're not there, they may not tell you. And then you don't learn how you can shift your business. You might just lose that customer and not know why. Whereas if they're in your store, you can get that moment-to-moment -moment feedback. You give them something and you say, hey, how did you like it? And they tell you, you know what? That was amazing. 
So now you know, let's keep making products like this for these kinds of people. Or they say, you know what, it was all right. And you say, well, what didn't you like about it? And they're like, you know what, it was too sweet. Great, let me find something for you that's a little less sweet, or let me make another one for you and we're gonna reduce some of the maple syrup or whatever the ingredient is. You can do that when you have a store. When you are just selling at farmer's markets, most likely you've only prepped your juice ahead of time. You can't even really modify the drinks. There's not much you can do. You don't have a lot of flexibility. And so although this seems like a, it can seem like a small thing, this is a huge thing because this is what's going to build that relationship with your customer long term, and it's going to give you the necessary information that you need in order to evolve. A lot of businesses fail because they don't know how they're meant to grow. They're trying things, they're experimenting, but they're not getting the feedback that they need in order to adjust, to shift, to pivot. And having a brick and mortar store is a great way to do that. The other thing that I like to say, and this will be the last thing that I say, is when you have a brick and mortar store, you can still do everything else. You can still go to farmer's markets. You can still, if you decide, have a juice truck. You can still do direct to consumer delivery. You can do online orders. You can do all that stuff with the store, but yet you're still getting all the benefits that I mentioned before. You're building community. You're connecting with your customer. You're building that trust and that deep relationship that ultimately is going to inspire your consumer, your customer, your community to invest more money in themselves and your product. Whereas when you have other sales channels, granted it might be a little bit cheaper to get into and you got to do what you got to do, but there's a lot of benefits in having a store that I've experienced and I've seen that you may not have been aware of before. And so that's why I wanted to make this video to help open your minds about how you're thinking about this. If you like the video, press the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, why aren't you subscribed? You should subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, put it in the comment box below. If you aren't following us on Instagram, you definitely want to do that at Starter Juice Bar. And if you haven't listened to the Juice Bar Experts podcast, check that out. Got a lot of great content out there. If you guys need support personally, uh, reach out to us. If you haven't taken the online course, explore that. There's a link in the description below. And as always, wishing you guys a lot of success uh, on this journey. It's, an, it's really important what we're doing. It's, it's, you know, I always say that your health is the most important thing. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Being healthy allows you to maintain proper relationships. It allows you to enjoy your life. And so. Uh, don't forget why you're doing what you're doing. This is important work, and I'm inspired to help you guys manifest the dream, not just for yourself, because that's beautiful too, but really for your communities, the people around you, for your families. It's important. So uh, I hope to see you guys soon, and I hope you guys are thriving. This is Andrew McFarlane with StarterJuiceBar.com. See you guys at the next video.